Hey there, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music. Welcome. Before we get started, though, come here. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Subscribe to the. I do one video every like two months. Okay, you never know. Gonna know when it's coming out. Just subscribe. Hit the bell. Okay, let's push back. So, Denise.io. Ever heard of them? I hadn't until they started emailing me um, a lot to talk about uh, a plugin they make called Dragonfire, which is, they say, a tonal compressor. At first, I thought, I do not need another compressor. Um, and if I want tone, I'll use an EQ, either before or after, or I'll mess with the sidechain input of the compressor. But then I started to play with this thing. And now I'm like, OK, I have to make a video. Because I think that um, Denise is one of those companies that, again, fits into this cohort of indie plugin developers who are not like the kind of big guys, the waves, the UAs, and they can take a look at what's happening and then build something that is a solution to a whole bunch of problems that people have and put it into a package that's very easy to use, control, and make something sound totally different from the way that it sounded before. Um, so when you think of OX Sound, when you think of Golfos, Baby Audio, these are the kind of new kids on the block. And it's just really interesting and exciting to get their perspective on, you know, the way that plugin and plugin technology and innovation in the plugin world is going. So I have to make a video and let's just jump into it right now. Okay, here we are. We are in dragon fire territory. I have it instantiated on a kick track. Sounds like this. By the way, if you want to see an entire mix series on this session uh, in Boca Al Lupo, I'll leave that in the, uh, you know, I'll leave a little video card or something for it. But anyway, I have it on a kick because I think this is where compression happens a lot. Um, and as you can see, I have a lot of other stuff happening uh, downstream from Dragonfire, but I just want to focus on this plugin. And it is resizable. It's 2021. Most plugins are, which is kind of nice. I want to just cut right to the chase, though, with the coolest thing about this plugin. And then we'll go over all the other features, because those are just as cool. But this is um, supremely, infinitely cool, this pull, um, push-pull kind of technology that they have here, which starts at 50 default, which is uh, important for a reason. I'll explain in a moment here. So the idea here is that if we want to using this kind of EQ graph, push frequencies into the compressor. In my uh, estimation here, we're pushing things into the sidechain input. That's all fine and good. You can do that with a lot of compressors. But the cool thing, though, is that I can push these in. So let's say I wanted to bring up the gain. You'll see things dance around here as soon as you start making moves. Um, I want to bring the gain up. I want to bring the sub up here, maybe 60 hertz. Let's have a listen and play around. And I also want to bring some snap in, maybe 3K-ish. That sounds cool. And maybe just we'll, we'll brighten things up with a bit of a shelf here at the end. So if I bring this all the way to 100, we are still getting a little bit of action, OK? Um, we are still getting some hype happening in these areas. But the cool thing is that um, if I bring this all the way over here, you can see these little boosts occurring. And this is adding those frequencies back at the output stage. So of course, if we go all the way down here, this might be too much. Have a listen. So what I might do is just bring this pull and just drag it until I find the sweet spot. Let's listen to it in the context of the mix. Now that might be a little bit too much of a kind of rock kick and this is more of a ballad kick, but I think it's so cool that A, we can do this and I don't have to have any cue anywhere. I can kind of bring up the tone of the kick from Dragonfire and B, listen to how much more it cuts through the mix. If I leave it all the way at 100, we are still getting, I believe, some boosts here, but we don't get that uh, poking through, slicing through the mix. So 
I think that is very, very, very cool. And of course, let's say that we don't want to boost and I can do some fun lasso stuff here um, and double click these to return them. Let's say that I want to cut. I can bring this down and then cut stuff out of, um, you know, uh, out of the kick and then have that not be the case uh, have those frequencies not be as prominent once we bring this pull uh, over here and then reintroduce stuff. So if we find that things are boxy or not really working in our favor, not working in the, in the context of the mix, we can do additive and subtractive tonal work and then blend things into taste with this pull slider here, which I think is totally unique to compressors. And one of the reasons why I was like, okay, you know what? This Dragonfire thing is not just gimmicky or a fad. It's genuinely new and interesting. So now that we've established the main kind of crown jewel here of this plugin, I want to talk about some of the other features, which are just as cool, um, because I think what, uh, you know, um, Denise IO are thinking about here is how can we make this the only compressor you will ever need? Well, um, here's a couple of ways that they do that over here on the curve slider. This is like, um, fast to slow. So over here, we have a VCA style compression. And as we bring this all the way over, we get more opto style compression, like an LA-2A or something like that. But one of the nice things is that we don't just pick, right, uh, which style we want. We can actually blend between uh, a few different styles, which is kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is replicate. Oh, I still have them all selected here. Replicate some moves that I did earlier. Bring this up, bring this up, bring this up and find a nice pull location. And we'll just solo that kick. Now watch and listen to the change as we go from a fast to slow VCA to opto uh, style curve here. Default is 25, double clicking, which I think every single plugin company should adopt as a return to default is available in this plugin, which is wonderful. Moving over, we have RMS slider. So this is almost like um, RMS to, to peak um, compression. So it's gradual here. So uh, peak compression, think SSL, RMS, a little bit more kind of softer style. Let's Let's play with that. By the way, you'll need to throw on some really good headphones to hear this uh, or have a good monitor uh, set up in your in your room. Let's actually play with the threshold a little bit to really get the sound of these guys. Okay. Okay, so the knee, basically we all know what a knee does in a compressor, hard knee, a little faster, soft knee, a uh, little more kind of gentler onset of compression. Again, let's just really exaggerate stuff just to get a, a thick kind of tone for what we're doing. And the drive is really interesting. We have um, adaptive saturation here. Um, the more you drive into this, the more you, you know, of the input that you drive, the more uh, saturation that we get. Now, as far as I know, we can't change the types or algorithms of saturation. It is just, I think, modeled after an old tube style saturation tool. So think, you know, maybe one of the um, algorithms in Decapitator or something like that. It's getting pretty grainy, pretty scratchy. I'm going to bring up the gain just so you can really hear the drive. Okay, cool. So below, we have a number of controls that should be probably pretty familiar to folks. We have the mix, which is like, I believe, a parallel mix uh, slider should we want to add a kind of nice, delicate dash of dry versus wet signal. Um, we have our threshold. We have our ratio, uh, which can go all the way to, you know, 
40, which is almost, you know, kind of hyper limiting style, which is really cool. Um, attack, release, high pass, low pass filter. This other section is really interesting too, because we have clip and gain. If I put both of these little kind of carrot peas or whatever you want to call them, this will constrain the output with a hard cut level. Um, and this kind of gives us, you know, vibe if we want to crush some overheads or some snare or something like that. And this, if I click this, we get, um, as I understand it, kind of like a, uh, a post clipper. And then we get some makeup gain. So of course I'm being really deliberate and liberal with my application of some of these settings, just so you can really hear what's going on. Um, why don't we bring Dragonfire over to another track? Um, I think I'll bring this back. What did I have? Yeah, um, kind of blue face, LA-2A. So let's do the snare. Call up Dragonfire. And we get our kind of return to a smaller snare track. Bring the threshold down. Let's start to bring up some snap. And again, you play with this pull slider and just until you find that kind of sweet spot. There it is. There's that snap. It's almost like a DBX 160 at that point, just adding that kind of stank. It's hard, I know, but you break it. So here's a little before and after before. It's hard, I know, but you break it. So I should say, I've kind of mixed this track to my liking. So don't think that the moves that I'm making are necessarily, you know, it's not like I've removed the compressor and the EQ from the snare. They're still on there. I just want to show Dragonfire's kind of power. Um, so this mix is pre-baked, so it's not like, oh, well, that sounds so much better. I'm doing a little bit of a little bit of moves here. So why don't we actually take off? What do I have here? Um, okay, looks like it's you know pretty pretty simple. 1073. I'll take that off. It's hard, I know, but you break it. Oh, you you try, but you make it. Before and after. It's hard, I know, but you break it. Oh, you wrong me. You try, but you make it. All along, it's hard. So that is, in a nutshell, Dragonfire. Um, and I'm really happy that I got over my initial skepticism and played with this thing because you could see with, uh, well, hopefully in these couple of minutes that we've been here together, you can see that this is not just a compressor. In fact, I wouldn't even say it's like a compressor plus it's, it's a clipper, it's um, a tonal shaping, it's an EQ, it's this, you know, we have a saturation device here. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the indies kind of thinking about what's out there and how can we just design one simple thing that gets you, you know, a different sound, a sound that might be leading to a great result or just a totally different direction for your mix. And before we go to the outro, I want to talk a little bit about the preset menu, which uh, befuddles me, <laughs> I have to say. 
double clicking on this doesn't call it up. Um, I was looking for the folder, like, you know, like a, an embedded folder within Dragonfire and I just could not find it. So when I click this, um, this will take me to my own folder uh, hierarchy in Finder. And so the only way I could really get around was just to do this um, and find some stuff, which is kind of cool because it gives you a, a, a seemingly more kind of random discovery system. But I, I hey, uh, Dragonfire, Denise, if you're listening, uh, please help me find the, the the embedded menu. It could be just a Pro Tools thing. Um, actually, maybe it's up here. Okay, no, not there. Is it here? No, okay, well, yeah. Again, not sure what's going on, but it would be nice to get uh, an embedded menu. But you can go through this. And one of the cool things is they actually have this random, and so, so we all know about side chaining, right? But this random thing is really cool. It'll just generate different um, EQ curves here for you, which is really nice and helpful. Um, of course, if you want to go back to default, I haven't found a quick and easy way to do that beyond going over here all the way back to default. And then you can go back to your default. So anyway, in a nutshell, I think that this is going to be a super helpful uh, all-in-one solution for people who really want to transform the sound of whatever it happens to be they're kind of going for in their mix. So I'm super impressed with this. Let's see each other on the other side. Okay, thank you so much for watching. What did you think? Do you think you will buy Dragonfire, which by the way, I think is like 50% off at the time of this video. Do you feel like you have enough compressors? Is this one truly different and unique? Please let me know if you have it already. What's your experience been like playing with it? And if there's something else that you wanna see in the Let's Plug video series here on uh, the Manchester Music Channel, do let me know as well. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Take care.